Hey, 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 hey! Good to be here, good to be here, good to be on TV to be myself. I've had some success before in television. I uh, did a movie with Sandra Bullock and Bradley Cooper called All About Steve, where I played a security guard. I did an episode of My Name is Earl, where I played a prison guard. And then I did an episode of Medium, where I played prisoner number two. Uh, people always asking, how did you play a prison, a prison guard and prisoner number two? That's because I take my glasses off. <laughs> See, when I take my glasses off, that makes me double-sided. See, like this, I could play a prison guard. Hey, Earl, you got to go to jail. Take my glasses off. <laughs> prisoner number two. <laughs> like this, I could play a pharmacist. Ha <laughs> ha, give him a informant. Drug dealer. Like this, I could get a bank loan, yes, ha <laughs> ha. Rob a bank. <laughs> Just work with what I got, work with me. People always asking me like, how you doing in this corona? How is COVID affecting you? I'm like, I'm fine, but my finances caught COVID. I mean, my checking and savings lost all sense of taste and smell. <laughs> they put my visa on a ventilator. They put a mask on my MasterCard. They got my savings all in quarantine. I can't touch none of that, none of that. Now, the thing is, I did eventually, uh, I did eventually catch COVID, but they say it attacks your immune system, and I'm from Texas, and I got a rock gut, so the joke was on COVID. Because <laughs> in my quarantine room, COVID was sitting in the corner coughing. <laughs> What kind of immune system you got? I'm like, my immune system built on ham hocks, hog moths, and hot water cornbread. <laughs> I'm trying to work on eating better. I love Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A is my spot. I'm like, Chick-fil-A, the thing is, it would just be so great to eat it on Sundays. You know, I'm like, but I get it. I see why they closed, but I'm like, man, y'all can't get no seven-day Adventists to work on Sundays for you? I just want my sandwich. I, want my sandwich. I love being here. I love being here with y'all. I feel like I done got close to you so I can be a little bit more real. Is that okay? Can I be a little bit more real with y'all? Okay. So here's the thing. I'm going through some new stuff in my life. Uh, I'm fat and I'm broke, which means I need to join a gym, but I can't afford to. So what I have to do is walk around my neighborhood to get my exercise. So I need to talk to all you dog lovers. Stop walking your dogs with no leash, because I'm scared. And I'm tired of you looking at me like something wrong with me when I'm trying to protect myself. I'm out here trying to walk to burn off these calories so I can be a stud like Huckabee. <laughs> and all I see is your dog coming, running around the corner, running toward me free. And all I can do is try to defend myself the way I know how, the way my mama taught me. And all I can do is yell, get your dog! Get your dog! You better get your dog! Now, here you go looking at me crazy like something wrong with me. What's wrong with you? Why you tripping, big man? What? Oh, muffin don't bite. Muffin don't bite. Well, I don't know muffin don't bite. All I see is a chihuahua running toward me free. <laughs> it would be the same as if you saw me walking down the street with a gun and no bullets. What's wrong with you? Why you tripping, big man? What? Oh, muffin don't bite. Muffin don't bite. And then you name your dogs wrong, too, because the name's supposed to match your dog. I'm tired of coming to your house and you're like, hey, Bone, you want to meet Cupcake? Yeah, okay, I meet Cupcake. Cupcake is a werewolf! You should have named that dog Cujo. It's like meeting a white dude named Jamal. 
Oh, you Jamal. Oh, oh, hold on. Hey, put the Kool-Aid up. Put the Kool-Aid up. It's not what we thought. We need some iced tea. Hey, put that Popeye's chicken sandwich up. We need a Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich. <laughs> hey, that's my time. I'm Bone Hampton. Thank you. Uh, Bone, we love having you here. Man, you know I love being here with you, Governor Huck. You are funny guy. And, you know, <laughs> your comedy is clean, and yes. that's one of the things that I love about you. You can play a comedy club, get laughs, but you can do a church gig. You can go anywhere because your comedy is never inappropriate. And that's what I salute you for, is making people laugh, not because they're embarrassed, but because you really do tell some funny stuff. Good for you. I would uh, like to take a lot more credit for it, but it's my mama. I'm scared she gonna pop up anywhere <laughs> and pop up on stage. Who told you to talk like that? <laughs> mama, how you get so? Would she be upside your head? Upside my head. That's what my parents always said. They're gonna be upside my head. I wasn't sure exactly what that meant, but I knew it was not good. Exactly. I didn't want any part of that. Did you have trouble at first when you was going to the comedy clubs and starting your career that people said, Bone, you're gonna have to go a little more blue in order to be successful. You know what was the biggest thing? They told me, you don't have to tell people you're a Christian comic. Huh. And I had to tell them, well, I don't want people to be surprised when yeah. I say Jesus. Yeah. And so they was like, yeah, but you know, it's gonna put that stigma. <laughs> I'm like, I kind of like the Jesus stigma. So <laughs> that was the hardest part. It wasn't necessarily, uh, they was trying to get me to go blue. You've got a podcast uh, called Loud and Country. That's your motto. That's kind of a unique one, <laughs> loud and country. When I look at you, I don't necessarily see the country side. So where does this come from? Because when I say country, I don't mean like cowboy hat, boots, and wranglers. Okay. I mean like hot water cornbread, hot, 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 uh, <laughs> all <laughs> malls, and uh, six so, feet. <laughs> yeah, rural, yeah. country in that yeah. sense. Yeah, yeah, You've got a documentary, too, that's uh, all about you. It's not just you doing a routine, but... What's the documentary about? So it's a producer in L.A. named Tracy Carter. She reached out and she said, I'm producing and I want to direct this documentary. I've watched you have success in secular and I want to know why you keep going back to the church. Hmm. And I was like, I don't, I don't choose to go back to the church. She's like, no, you do. And I talked to all my comedy friends and they was like, yeah, because I did America's Got Talent. I did The View. My name is Earl. And he's like, you have success that would move you up the mainstream uh, fence, but you keep coming back. And I'm like, well, I got to get back to what my foundation was. And yeah. my foundation is always Jesus. And God told me when I was starting, he said, your career will always be just okay until you make it clear to people who I am mm. in your life. Well, you have done that. And I want to say for all of us, thank you for being true to who you are. Thank you. And it's great having you here. Got to get one in. My aunt, Trinnell uh -huh. is watching you right now on her cast. She loves your show. And when I told her I was doing your show, that's the most excited she been. I said, I'm going to be sitting at the table with Whoopi Goldberg. <laughs> and she said, I don't care. You mentioned me. Why don't you, you bring her to the show? We're going to bring her. You All hear right. that, Trinnell? That's a, your bring show. her to the government. show. Bone, we love you. Thank you. Keith Bilbrey. Tell our viewers how they can see more of the very funny Bone Hampton, please. Well, for updates on the upcoming release of Bone Hampton, Loud and Country, the documentary, plus his podcast, videos, and booking information, visit BoneHampton.com.